you guys all want GoPro to make a quadcopter? Oh, come on, do you guys want GoPro to make a quadcopter? <laughs> okay, GoPro is making a quadcopter. All right. It's official. All right, okay, so no, what and, I, and, and uh, you may think that I'm joking. Uh, no, we thought it'd be uh, terrific here on Recode and with right. you to, yeah. to drop the news that we are officially yes. developing a quadcopter. Yes, I know, I just dragged that out of you. Um, what, um, uh, what, <laughs> I take credit when I do the good, I do the good kills, but not this one. Um, what, uh, what, explain what you're doing there. What is the quadcopter? Besides sounding pretty cool and I have to buy it for my uh, it's, children. It's going to be extremely cool. Okay. Um, well, quadcopters and the whole movement have a special place for us at GoPro because um, I was a huge uh, radio controlled uh, plane enthusiast as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I could never really get anybody involved in it with me because um, either it was too geeky or uh, took a lot of time to learn how to fly these things, you crash them all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was really surprised um, to see how quickly the, the uh, general consumer was adopting quadcopters. Yes. And there's a viral sort of growth and awareness and adoption of the product similar to GoPro mm -hmm. being driven by a, a similar phenomenon. And that's the content that the quadcopter plus a GoPro enables. Right, which that, are these that, beautiful that, pictures above. My, my God, it's, in, it's incredible. And it, it's, it's enabled, quads plus GoPro have enabled some of the most, it's been one of the most democratizing combinations in terms of enabling people to capture professional quality content and see themselves in their environment in a way that uh, they'd never seen before. Look